We continue on the ninth annual State of the Black Union. How do you see black America in this moment uh, with a critical choice that we're going to have to make um, later on this year? T tell me what you see this choice being later on this year. Well, I, I appreciate uh, being here. I, I don't know about you folks, but I've just been blown away by what I've heard and felt from this panel. Uh, it is a reflection of who we are, it is a reflection of what we will be. And I think, let's get it out of the way, I'm the Republican on the panel. <laughs> uh, and uh, so I'm just here to fill in any gaps that may exist. But um, <laughs> I'm the son of a sharecropper's daughter who was raised in South Carolina and uh, got a fifth grade education. That was it, because she had to go work the cotton fields. She moved to Washington, D.C. in 1942. She married a man uh, a few years later uh, who was a nice man at the time. But he was an alcoholic, and he beat her every day until he died at 36 years old. I noticed that. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> look, the re Republicans start speaking, cut the mic. <laughs>
So I tell Bill Clinton, ain't nothing wrong with being black as long as you're playing. But when you try to use it as your address, When you try to use it as your address, then I got some serious questions. Have you and your wife and your daughter ever been standing on a street corner in New York and a cab passed you by because you're the black president? Huh? Huh? Have you ever had Chelsea pulled over by the white police because her daddy's the black president? <laughs> Mr. President, do you know what it feels like to be a black person? To be a congress lady, huh? To be a lieutenant governor with 12 doctor's degrees and driving down the street and hear the police siren and you start squeezing that steering wheel tight and they pass by you and you thank God. Damn, thanking God. You didn't do nothing in the first place, huh? Do you know what you did? Then you can be black, huh? Then you be black, huh? Then you be black. Until yeah. then, huh? Yeah. Until then, Tell it, Gregory. that's what this that's is about. What we're about. That's what this is about, huh? And then, yeah, Gregory. coming up next on the ninth annual State of the Black Union, for students and all kinds of folk from all across the country who came to be with us yesterday, please give all those persons a wonderful round of applause for all the work that you all did. I see you out here in this audience today. You were here working yesterday while we're talking today.